Oh boy. I'm trying to get some sleep. Oh my god, what the heck? What time is it? I can't even see what time it is. Wait a sec. Who is it? Can you pick me up from the pub? Oh, my life. Okay, we'll have to go in the van. Alright, we need we need to do this, guys. We need to do this. But we'll have to go in the van because the car is just not even working. I can't see a thing. Oh, my God. Welcome back to my summer car. I did plan on sleeping the night, getting up in the morning, and then actually... Jeez, I can't see anything. And actually uh, starting work on the car, but I guess this is more important. <laughs> I just can't see a thing. Hang on, what was that? There we go. I had it then. Oh, there it is. Right, okay, let's hold that position. Wait for the ignition coils to warm up. Yeah, so um, it's actually quite important that we progress this guy's story, so we really need to take advantage of this situation right now. I hope there's some food and drink in the back of the van. I really don't know. I can't check it. Come on, coils. Was it glow plugs and these? I can't remember. Come on. There we go. All right, let's get the lights on. And that looks to be about centre-ish. Uh, let's shut the door. Find the seatbelt, which is, you know, this van really needs a um, internal light. Handbrake is off. I have got a Scooby-Doo. What is behind me? We're just gonna have to reverse and hope for the best. Really? Oh, there's there's the truck. Hang on. So the there we go. Oh, we can see things. Right. Let's go and rescue this guy. So this is the guy that um, we always sell the kill you to, but he's like basically an alcoholic. And the story goes that he's actually a bit of a millionaire as well. Something about a lottery ticket. Like his wife puts a lottery ticket on, and. He doesn't tell her, but he, he go like she wins a million, and he doesn't actually tell her. I don't know why, but he doesn't tell her. And so he has this suitcase full of money kicking around somewhere, and just acts the drunk guy all the time. I've never seen his wife, though. That's the weird thing. And I don't really know why he didn't just tell her. It's, it's all very strange. But anyway, if we sort of keep picking him up, he will progress the story through. So I don't know where we're at in the story, but he's going to hopefully tell us some stuff as we uh, start talking to him. Um, once we've done this, I think we're going to start work on the wiring side of the car, because all the wiring's going to have to be redone, and the alternator belt's going to have to go on, and then we're going to have to troubleshoot things as and when. I don't know. I honestly can't remember what state the car's in, because it is a while since we played it. Uh, I know the valve timers are going to need doing. There may be other bits and pieces that need doing, but we'll just have to try and troubleshoot and get it working. Uh, but in the meantime, I shall... Ooh, is this the green car? I just... Yeah, it is. Look, I just saw a headlight. I didn't think that he drove this late into the night. I thought he stopped at around midnight. That's actually quite useful, because if you find yourself out at nightfall, or whatever reason, and you need a lift home, you can actually get one. Let's see if we can catch him up. There it is. <laughs> Looks like you enjoyed the last video, guys. I saw a load of really positive comments saying, oh, we're so glad it's back. My summer car, yay! Um, and then some comments about the red diesel and things like this. So that's great. Keep them coming. Glad you're enjoying it. Um, it's, it's actually nice to have new things to do in this game again. That was uh, one of the reasons I think I burned out on it. It's just that I've done everything. Oh my god, dude, you brake testing me. It's like high racing. Okay, let's get up to the shops and we'll pick him up. It's unbelievable how many vehicles there are on the road. And I just realised it's actually Tuesday morning. I don't know what time it is. It's, I don't know, 3 a.m. or something crazy. There's so many vehicles on the road. And I actually can't believe this guy get absolutely smashed at the pub on a, on a Monday night. I actually thought he only went out on a Friday and Saturday night. I thought he got wrecked at home in between, but apparently not. Monday night, here he is. Maybe he won the lottery today. Who knows? 
Let's see what he has to say for himself. Good evening. Thank you for coming. One second. Let me just adjust my uh, seating position here. Move it back a little bit so we can actually see things. That train is driving me crazy. It blows the whistle just to mess with me every day. Yeah, it's just just built to annoy you, dude. Half a tank of fuel, we're good. I can't understand a word you're saying. The translator stopped working. <laughs> Where's he live? Oh, yeah, I know. Left. Oh, he's not saying very much. Okay, looks like he's not going to volunteer that information just yet. I don't know how many trips we've done. I think you have to do, like, pick him up about four or five times or something, and after that he starts talking. And then I think the story goes, something like his wife fans out, maybe. But anyway, she kicks him out of the house and you have to help him move. That's, that's as much as I know about the story at the moment. But it looks like he's going to say absolutely nothing for the whole trip. So I'll just drive him home. And then we'll go back and do some car work. Past the, uh, the old woodcutter, who's actually never around very much now. He used to stand outside his house for all the time during the day, but now... I have to wait for him to call you, which is a bit annoying, actually. It means you can't grind money as like you used to be able to. Now, apparently the bug is fixed where he knocks himself out as he gets out of the van, so we'll see what happens. Compensation. Oh, 600 marks. That's not bad, actually, dude. Watch you don't fall over. Yeah, he used to get out and just knock himself out on the road. 600 mark. That was uh, actually worth it. I think that's probably the one of the highest I've seen. That will almost pay up to fuel it up. Do you know what? I'm trying to think the nearest place to fuel up. I can't remember if I read somewhere that Flitari now has a fuel pump, but I... Hmm, maybe I made that up. It's just annoying having to drive all the way around town just to uh, fuel up again. But hey-ho. Notice the um, telegraph wires up here? Hit that or power lines, I'm not sure. They're new. And all these ditches on the side of the road here. That used to be all smooth. They're all new. Loads of little details. Oh, God! Turn! This thing handles like a brick. Right, that's the errand done anyway. There we go. Back at base. Actually, you know what I should have done? I should have checked the post box just in case. Bing! Yeah, that was what I was telling you about in the last video. Look, he's put these like weird ditches in. Look, which just makes it really annoying to get around your own house now. I don't know why he put them in. Apart from to troll everybody, but there you go. Uh, can we have a light sweep? There we go. Cool. Let me just double check what's in the back of this vent. Uh, what have we got here? We've got beer, food. Beer and food, that's it. Okay, that's good. You know, we need to go over to the island at some point. Check things out. So we've got a trailer full of wood here, but we're just waiting for the guy to call us. Which he will, I'm sure, at some point. Uh, what's this? Oh, yes. Uh, so we do actually have a fine. I think. Actually. Sometimes when you look at it, it tells you what the fine is. It says something like 6,700 mark. I, I can't remember what we got it for. But I can't even click on it right now, so I don't know what's going on. Um, but yeah, if the police may or may not turn up. What I shouldn't have done is I shouldn't have slept in that bed. I think I remember now what we were doing was sleeping in the truck as a way of not getting arrested. And uh, essentially I forgot about that and we could have easily just been arrested there. So let's um, pop this up. I need to start work on this. Let's get that out of the way. Uh, the amp's gonna need fitting. The battery's gonna need fitting. We're gonna need the wiring loom. Let's go and get the wiring loom. Wait, what? I moved this. I'm sure I moved that. 
Okay, well, whatever. We'll put it there. Um, wiring loom is here. We'll put that there. Uh, where's our little music box thing? There it is. Let's bring that outside. Put some music on. Okay, so we're going to be doing some wiring. This is um, ever so slightly tedious. Where's the volume button? There you go. Little background music. Right then, yeah. Wiring is ever so slightly tedious. I don't know if you've ever done it before, but... Ay, ay, ay. There's no, there's no like set way of doing it really. There are, there are things that you meant that you have to do, obviously. Um, but there's not really a go here, click this, because a lot of it is essentially fighting the UI to get to where you want to be. If that makes sense. Let's pick up the screwdriver first. Actually, I'd say what else we need. We need the the belt, the alternator belt, and we'll put that on while we're doing this. Uh, let's just check it's got an oil filter and stuff. I assume it has. Don't think any of that changed. You're right, got an oil filter. Uh, so let's put the let's put the alternator belt on while we're here. So we've got the screwdriver for that, and we shall unscrew this thing. Flick to the hand. Move that in, and then, and this is where the mystery comes in. Where well, you basically got to move to the right position in the UI to actually get it to fit. There we go. I had it then. Okay, so what I like to do is move it all the way to the right so it's as tight as possible and then one, two clicks back should do it until we can get the car started and figure it out. But that's the belt on, that's the main thing. Right, next thing we need to do is we need to undo a few things. So we'll get the socket set. I um, can't remember what size we need, let's start with seven. So we need to loosen up, where is it, the starter here. I think we need to loosen up that bolt if I remember. And then it'll need to wire into here. So some of the some of the tricks that I can tell you that I've learned over the years, years, months of doing this. Um, you can actually, if you look behind here, you can actually see a lot of the things that you need to connect into. For example, this thing here. Which goes, that's a fuse box over there, I believe. This is like the, I think they call it the regulator. And there's like a power thing there. Oh, I know something else we need to do. We need to take off these headlamps. Uh, you can't actually... Wait a second, is that... Hmm. Should we want to either side? There we go. You can't actually wire up the headlamps until... Oh, great. My summer physics. Until you take the lamps out. As bizarre as that sounds. Uh, let's think. Right, oh, let's fit the amplifier. Let's get that done. Which goes about here somewhere. There. And then we need a couple of bolts, but I can't remember what size. Looking at those, I'm thinking maybe fives. So let's go in with a five. Let's see what we get. There we go. All right, let's tighten that down. Should be one on the other side. Because uh, a bunch of the wires are going to have to go into here uh, to the speakers, and then we're going to have to get lights wired in. So here we go. This is where it all gets faff. Right, let's start off, I think. Can we start off with the front light? There we go. Headlight right, press F. And that should, I think, wire into here somewhere. The harness connector. Well, there we go. Ignition coil, harness connector. Let's see. Headlight right. That got to the regulator. Regulator to the harness connector. Headlight right to headlight left. And was it something down here, maybe? Front light connector. There we go. So when you've got this right, you'll know you've got it right because that will happen. See? That will happen. So this one's doing it. So there you go. 
That now... Oh, crikey. Why does the phone always ring when you're in the middle of wiring your car? What do you want? Surge is completely full. Alright. Uh, which one is it? Okay, that's near the... Fine, so we've got two to do. Let's have a little bite to eat. Well, we've got to take a break anyway. And a cheeky drink. Good times. Right, uh, where were we? So, we've done the lights. Uh, so they can actually just go back now. Once you've done that, they're fine to just go back on. Uh, just don't forget to tighten them back up again. Was that a seven? I switched it to five, didn't I? So a seven more and a seven more. Now I'll probably get all this wiring wrong initially, and again we'll just have to troubleshoot as we go along. Because the last time I did it, it was a bit like this. I just faffed around until it worked. I'm sure there's a scientific way of doing it. Uh, right. So this the not the battery ground connector. Oh, hang on. I need to put the battery in actually. That would be good to do. That in. Um, get the wiring. So there should be a connector down here. Oh my god. Battery ground connector. And that may go into the negative terminal like that. And there should be another one. Starter. Which. Not exactly certain. In fact, it goes down to the alternator or reg positive terminal to starter. Okay, so the starter should have, if you do it correctly, if I remember, the starter should look. Yeah. It should have a wire coming in here and a wire coming in here. And that can now be tightened. There. And so can that one. But I think that might be five, I guess. Yeah, there you go. So it, it basically creates that connector. So you've got those two on the starter motor. Um, and then back to wiring mess. I don't believe we've done an alternator connector yet. I'm not getting a tick box. Like I say, a lot of it's just to do with standing in the right place, you know? It's very non-scientific, this bit. So can we see a wire on it? It's hard to see inside the engine to see if it's actually got a wire on it. Yes, it has. I can see a cable coming out of it there, so I think that's done. Uh, so let's see now. We've got the lights, we've got the alternator, we've got the starter. Uh, what else is going to be? Positive terminal is going to have to connect to something. Harness connector. There we go. So that's connected to the harness. And if you look at the harness, there's still some connectors missing on that red line there. So connect that and see if there's anything else it wants to connect to. Which I doubt. I doubt there is inside the engine bay. It might be going inside the inside the car itself. Now let's have a look inside the car. See what we've got. Uh, instrument panel. Ah, oh, so disorienting. Right, there's a fuse box down here. Thanks, game. Thanks. A few. Oh, seriously, just sit still. Right, fuse box. There we go. So there's a bunch of things behind this panel here that we need to connect up. Um light switch for example will have to go to the is it the fuse box it goes to one sec we had it then instrument panel fuse box to ignition switch main harness connector
Where does that want to go to wonder? As it does, it will actually give you a, a hint as you're going along. If you see a tick box, it means it, it needs to connect to something. What was that then? Radio harness connects the radio, maybe? There we go. The radio probably wants to connect to the amp. It's the fuel tank. Interesting. Amplifier power. Amplifier power probably wants to go into the fuse box, maybe. Either that or the radio. Let's go around the back here and see if it wants to connect to any of this lot. Harness connector. I presume it connects to the fuel tank to ground. Had a guess, I'm not exactly sure. Switch. Hmm. Where would the light switch connect to? The lights are probably here somewhere. Unless it's that bit down there. There we go. Front light connector. That looks like it's wired in properly now. That looks like it's wired in properly. It's still a harness connection to something. Is it that, maybe? No. Extra gauges connect to... Um, it's like an instrument panel thing somewhere, I remember. Let's have a look from the inside here. See what we got. Right, so at the back of this, we can see now that there's a bunch of connections. Uh, that's missing a connection at the moment. Uh, that's missing a connection. So the typically AFR gauge. There should be a there should be a dash harness connector. Maybe you know, that's the back of the radio. It should be like here somewhere. I think all the instrumentation the dash connects to it. And it's like, I think it's behind. There it was. That was it then. Just saw it. I think it's there. That should go to that thing. And also to these, I think. There's bound to be some other bit of instrumentation that's not wired up. Light switch. This is one of the best songs in this game. Gonna turn it up. Okay, so that's looking better. We're not seeing so many tick boxes anymore as we look around. Nothing on the ignition that he's doing. That gauge is connected. They're all connected. So I think. Try the rear, rear light, I think, connects to that thing. And should connect to... I had it then. That thing. Okay, so you can see it's got space for one more connector there. The rear harness probably is the amplifier. Audio right's going to go to subwoofer right uh, that's going to go to that uh, let's see that one's still not connected yet fuel tank there we go okay that looks like that's connected through that's connected through We've done that, we've done that, we've done the lights. Um, trying to think if anything else needs needs doing now. One way to check is to just have a quick run through. There you go, main harness connector. That's got to go somewhere. 
Uh, let's think. Ignition, maybe. Um. No, it's not that. I definitely do everything down here. We're obviously missing something. What about the radiator fan, maybe? The oh, radiator fan. Cool. That would have been pretty cool. Or not. It would have been pretty hot, actually. <laughs> With no radiator. Okay, so they look all wired up. That looks wired up. That looks pretty wired up. Uh, we did the alternator. We've done that. Just quick check of this. And well, there's amplifier power. Amplifier power. Does that not go to that harness? Where would the amplifier power go to? Fuse box, maybe? not going into there, is it? Is that then? Not to saw something. Uh, <clears throat> I think there's a radio harness somewhere. I'm trying to remember. It wasn't that, was it? Is that in there? By the door? Maybe that's it. No, nope, doesn't look like it. Hmm. Let me have a think for a minute. Okay, I had a quick look on the wiki. I think the radio harness is actually behind here somewhere. There. So that's a bit of a tricky one. So it's more or less behind the glove box. And that gives the amplifier... It's power, which is here. So yeah, that was one of the ones I did forget about. But it, I think we've got it all wired up now. But, you know, I managed to get most of it done just by effectively wandering around and just connecting things. I mean, obviously, you know, you have to know about the starter motor bolt um, and remember the alternator. But apart from that, you can more or less just look at what sockets are not being used uh, in the car, like in here. You should be able to see wiring going up there and up there. It's every bit of instrumentation should have some wire coming out of it, essentially. Um, so I think that's the wiring done. Um, so what we would need to do now is grab... Is it an, a 10 or an 8? I can't remember what it is for the battery. So it's important that you do the battery correctly. Um, is it a 10? No, it's probably an 8. You need to do the positive terminal first. Um... Essentially, it's it's the negative terminal that will kill you in this game. Oh, great. So that keeps happening. Touch the battery and the battery pops out. Uh, so you want to do... There we go. Do that one first. Basically, this should be the last bolt you do. The one that's near the radiator. Do this bolt last and do this bolt first. So I'm doing it last now. That's put the power on. If I do that, it takes the power off. That's the key to this. That bolt. Because you can, like I say, kill yourself in this game, which is silly, but hang on. Uh, so let's see if we've got any kind of electric. Uh, yes, we do. Okay, well, the radio's working. That's the important thing. The radius is actually working. Uh, we have an instrumentation here. Uh, we have a battery meter there, so we know the battery's good. Um, but I won't try and start it just yet. What I'll do, I'll just uh, disconnect the power once more. There we go. So that should make it dead. Shall I try and turn that on? 
Okay, it looks like the game's weird. It looks like the game is very weird because, well, there's no way of disconnecting the actual thing, but in theory, that should be enough. Okay. All right, so it looks like you have to undo both to make it not live. You know, in, in real life, you would just disconnect and pull one of those terminals off, but you can't do that. Um, right, so let's quickly, let's try the, uh, let's try the oil. Okay, it looks like we're good for oil. Let's try the, right, go away. Coolant. I just want to make sure that we've got, like, liquids and stuff now, because I don't want to fire this up and then find out. If it does actually start up, I don't want to find out that um, it just blows up because I didn't leave enough liquid in it. Back. Uh, let's grab this. And we'll grab this. And I shall start on the left. Oh, there you go. I needed a bit of brake fluid out in, didn't I? Can't work out if that's empty. Finally. That was weird. I mean, that wouldn't cause an engine problem as such, but... Okay, we'll do that. It's been really, really fickle about Filling this gauge up. Look at this. I don't know why. There we go. How oh, really strange that is. Okay, make sure that's on tight. That's on tight. And then we'll open that one. That's fine. Right, so we're good on liquids and stuff. Uh, so what we'll do now is... We'll put that back. Try and remember which bolt size I need to get the cylinder head off. Uh, I'm going to guess it's seven. Let's see what we've got. I think it might be some... Oh, wow. Okay, there should be a few of these. One. Two. Maybe six, maybe eight, I'm not sure. One, two, looks like six. Three, four. Got to be very careful. You don't look at that. There's like a bolt in there, in the engine, that I could accidentally un just loosen slightly. And you bet the game ain't going to miss that. Okay, so now we need uh, the screwdriver, I think. Now, this bit's a little bit tedious, but hey, what isn't in this game? But what we've got is we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these things right there. Actually, why can't I do this? Yeah, I can do this. Uh, so we've got eight of them, and what we need to do is adjust them. Now, the formula, approximately, to just effectively center these valves is 25 forward, 11 back, I believe. Now, I worked out that if I spin my mouse wheel forward, as in towards my screen, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen is about half, right? So double, as in one full turn of this thing, is about 26, which is more than enough. So if I do one complete turn of that thing, pushing forward, I need to knock 11 back now. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's it. So let's just show you that again. If I do one complete revolution on this by pushing it forward anti clockwise, like so. Okay, and then I start one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. 
And that's essentially it. You just need to do that for the other. So I'll do those now. There we go. I've done all of them. Uh, so let's grab the cover and we'll put it back on. So, and then we get, what was I said? Seven, was it? I think it was seven. Flick the switch on that and tighten. I don't know what that was. I assume it was just the wind. Now, that takes us to a stage where we've got electric sorted, the valve timing is sorted. Um, I don't know if the mixture's sorted or not. I don't know if anything changed on that one on the fueling side of things. Um, so everything's tightened up. Let's go back to, was it an eight for the battery? Nope. 10, maybe. I think we're at the point where we can actually try it now and see if it actually starts up and runs and stuff or whether anything sounds like it's breaking. Okay, I've completely forgotten the battery size. How annoying is this? Ugh. Sure it wasn't an 8. It's an 8 scumbag game. Right, positive one, negative one. And, uh, whew. let's just hope it doesn't blow up, right? We do all this work. In theory, what I should do right now is save it. But YOLO. All right, I'm going to turn it off for a sec. Because I actually want to hear the car. So we'll give it a little bit of choke. And touch of the old throttle. Seven point eight. The battery's looking a bit low actually, but that shouldn't stop it from starting. Game plus. If I turn that off, it should stay off. Okay, that's actually killing the battery, which I th think means that the alternator's not charging the battery, which could mean it could mean that I missed out a connection, a wire, um, if the battery's not being charged. However, the flip side of that is we're not getting ignition. Ah, spark plugs. Spark plugs. That's why we're not getting ignition, because the game removed the spark plugs. Uh, what did I do with the spark plugs, guys? I mean, engines are relatively simple things. It's like fuel, uh, spark, you know? If, you're not, if it's not starting, it's one of those, really. Okay, there's the spark plugs. Let's see if we can get this thing. No, I need to remember how to do this. Another spark plug thing, was it? Another spark plug thing. To put these in. Okay, this is weird. How many did you get in a set? Do you know it's so long since I put a spark plug in? I can't remember how you do it. There we go. One. Ugh. Yeah, when they did all the wiring, I remember now. When he did the wiring change, he actually removed... He added spark plugs to the game and removed them all. From your engine. Um... Spark plug socket. There we go. One, two, so yeah, it might not have been charging because the engine wasn't actually running. So that could be one thing. Um, do you know what? I think I will actually give it a quick save though. I, I'm, that's a lot of work has just got into that and I'm really, let me just have a quick uh, reduction of stress via smoking. It's bad for you guys. It's bad for you. Don't smoke. You know, we've done quite a lot, actually. We've done quite a lot. If this starts up, I'll be, uh, I'll be quite happy about that. 
And I might even let off a firework in celebration. I wonder if he'll do something special for Christmas this year. You know, like, uh, I think it was Christmas last year, he put all those crazy lights in. I wonder if he's planning on something similar. The downside is we'll lose two hours of time when we sleep, when we save, but uh, I'll feel better if we do. So one second, and I should BRB. Okay, we're back. We're saved. And we've fast-forwarded two hours. Wow, it actually shut the door when I saved. Look at that. <laughs> That's hilarious. Right then. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. Right. Better choke. Okay. Well, now we're not... Well, I'm... <laughs> I'm gonna take a wild guess here and say that the battery's not hot, not got enough charge in it to actually do this. It was fine a second ago. I can't think why it wouldn't crank the starter motor over now. The only thing I can think of that would make any sense is that the battery is not of sufficient charge, even though it, wait a sec. How did that get undone? the heck <laughs> i saved the game and it undoes the positive like bolt okay i have no words for this game but let's try again then i haven't said that the radio worked oh oh <gasps> she's alive but listen That's the... That might... Let me stop the engine. That whistling noise you can hear. That may... It's not the alternator belt, I don't believe. It may be the... Uh, what's it called? The timing... The timing belt. Timing chain. I'd have to take the chain off and have a look at that. That could be what the whistling noise is. I don't think it's the alternator making that noise. Um, but hey... I, I kind of think that it's a bit of a victory, right? That's a bit of a victory. It starts up, it runs, it didn't blow up. We just got a little bit of a whew noise going on. Um, what about that? What about that? I'm impressed. <laughs> right, we've got the machine back. Just need to tune her up. If you, if you know what that noise is, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to kind of work on the basis it might be a timing chain problem. And uh, I shall have a look through that and see if we can adjust it, maybe. Uh, but if you know what that noise is, please do let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed that one, guys. That was quite fun and interesting, I thought. Uh, until the next one, take care and don't die in my summer car.